Hi, I'm Gus Chikala, project management expert. Today's topic is change in the project-based world. And when we think about change in the project-based world, we're going to think about the different ways change comes up in the world of project management. And it comes in uh, a lot of different flavors. And I want to start first of my definition of project management. Project management is the constant process of resyncing the plan to reality in the face of resistance. Syncing the plan to reality. So here's the problem. The resistance comes like this. Mr. or Ms. Sponsor, we built a plan 60 days ago, and some things happened in the real world that now force a change to the plan. Now, if you've been in this uh, role as a project manager or somebody who's dealing with a sponsor, if we go to a sponsor and say that the plan that you saw 60 days ago is now going to be, let's call it plan B, to resync to reality. Here's what the resistance oftentimes says. They don't use these words, but here's what they're saying. I would rather that you change reality and make sure that we still commit to the plan. To plan. Okay, so some people think project management is rigid. And I would say that's the opposite of the definition of project management. The definition of project management is the constant changing of the plan to resync against reality and deal with the resistance of that reality and how we're going to do the change. What are we going to change, right? So what can we change? Well, we know this thing called the triple constraint model. Right, it says there's resource, there's time, and there's scope. So what are we going to change? The scope has increased. What do we got to do? Add resource and or add time, or reduce scope. Now what happens when we follow the resistance that says, why don't you change reality to work with the plan? OK, I'll be a good sport, and I'll keep the plan as originally cast. OK, so typically what happens when we do that, we poke a leak into our project, a slow leak. OK, if we have more scope and we're told we can't change the resource allocation of people and dollars. We have no more. We have a rigid timeline, which oftentimes is legitimate. We're not going to change the time. We're not going to change the resource. We're going to change the scope. What scope really means is delivering to the specification. And a lot of projects will compromise some important activities And you know what the leak is out the back? It's quality. OK, so let's think about this. That's, so that, that's, that's kind of our definition of change management. The constant process of resyncing the plan to reality in the face of resistance. Now, let's think about project management in a larger context. How, how does project management deal with change? So, Here's what we want to think about. In an organization, which is like an organism, has a reason why it exists. It has a mission. It has a vision. What's the vision? What are we going to do in the next three to five years to fulfill our mission? We'll call that vision. How do we get the vision? Well, from where we stand today versus that vision out on the horizon, we're not there. The only way we can get there is to change. 
So I heard, I love, I love three word definitions. Our vision will strike a strategy, which is my, my favorite three word definition. A plan for change. Isn't that what a strategy does? It takes us from where we are today to some future tomorrow to achieve our vision, right? And at some point, we're going to execute the plan. So how do we execute the plan? Well, typically a strategy is a question of what is the right mix of changes to our current situation to get us to our vision, which is a series of initiatives that we would call a portfolio. How do we build a portfolio? Well, to get to the vision, we have to have the right projects. And if we, if we have the right projects, not only do we have the right projects, we have to do, have them done right. Okay, so the organization can't change unless project management delivers that change. So project management is the science of changing an organization from its current status to the future. As a matter of fact, project assistance has a mission statement. Our mission statement is to deliver the future into the present. That's what we do with innovation for the, for the changes we do to implement a strategy, to get us to our vision, to deliver our mission. Okay, now to be done right, what do we mean if a project's done right, how's it done? It's on time. I'm gonna put that over here actually. On time and on budget. That's on this part of the pyramid. The other one over here, I'm gonna call on spec to deliver the scope. So what we have is at least two methodologies in every project. The methodology that solves the problem, we specify a solution, we design it, we build it, we test it, we implement it, okay? And that could be drug development, it could be information technology, it could be uh, architectural engineering uh, design, it could be aerospace, aero engineering, aeronautics. Um, all those things are methodologies to build a solution. How about the business of the project? On time, on budget, we call that project, project management. Okay, so, so now we're talking about that project management changes the organization. Here's another question. What if this is not going well? What if an organization is not good at project management? That's another change that has to happen, okay? But before we go there, I want to talk about one more subchapter in here, is if we have a specification, if we have a charter, if we have a design, if we have a solution architect that tells us how we're going to design and, and, de and deliver a solution to a business problem, we might have a project charter. Well, what happens when the scope goes up? That is a change, right? So one of our methodologies in project management is the scope management, the orderly process of, of acknowledging and dealing with and analyzing and responding and knowing the impact of how we're going to do these changes to resource and time such that we have a new plan that reflects a new reality, okay? Now let's talk about organizations that aren't good at project management. They've got to change. We have a saying in our business when we go into an organization to help them build a PMO or improve a PMO, a project management office, we say, you got to change the way you change, right? You're changing the organization, but you're not very good at it. So how do we change the way we change, okay? Change the way we change. And in our world, it's three phases, right? What's your vision of the future? Which is something like we want our project-based organization to deliver the value from the strategy, from the investments, from the business problems that we promise to deliver to bring us to our future vision is not going well. So our vision, our customers' visions is to deliver as expected. 
And what does that mean? Well, it means a lot of things. What's broken? Why are we not delivering as expected? And that comes in four dimensions. Okay? A lot of times we get called because somebody wants to implement portfolio project management technology and tools. Technology is seen as the vehicle to deliver a greater level of rigor, which is usually what has to happen to deliver better projects. A greater level, level of rigor to follow the tenets of project management and portfolio management to get the theory to understand how to resync reality or resync the plan to reality in the face of resistance. How do we do that, right? So technology can enable the other dimensions of what about the process of project management and the methodologies that build those solutions, okay? So there's more than one process there. How about skills or people or organization? How about governance? For every process we build, for every new technology we implement, for every new skill that a, that a project manager or somebody on a project team has to learn, who's responsible for making sure that the organization changes? How do we change the way we're going to change? That's a real question, right? So usually what we're talking about is a current state, a future state, a gap between, again, just like we are over here, a gap between our current position and our vision of our future uh, vision to be more effective on our project-based methodologies to deliver the promise of the strategy that delivers our vision and mission. And if we're not good at that, we have to implement use a methodology to define and build and implement the technologies, the processes, the skills, and the governance. And this governance is really a science that we would be call, we would call organizational change management. Okay, so while we put the word adopt at the end of the train, it has to be baked in to every step. Okay, so what, we're, so what are we talking about? We're talking about change in a lot of different ways that are really different dimensions and different levels of depth of what project management represents. Okay, so we've got the, the, you know, the constant process of sinking uh, the plan to reality in the face of resistance. We've got the actual change of the organization that these projects are, 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 are born to plan for change to execute these plans to deliver the benefits of solving the problem. We've got change in projects themselves. When we find out that the problem we're trying to solve has some other specifications that were not thought about, oftentimes we would call them solution requirements. Okay, do we have the resources, do we have the time? That's all change to the organization. And then just this whole concept of change the way we change. How does an organization go from, we're not very good at this on time, on budget, on spec, and we want to be better at it. And so, so you know, our methodology to solve problems for our customers is we solve the problem of why are you not good at this and how can we help you go through a process of understanding your current state, your future state, and 14 different dimensions of technologies and, and processes and skills of where are you today, where you're trying to get to, and what is what I would call a feasible leap. If you're going to change, you got to do it in, in, in a big enough chunk that actually has an impact to, uh, to, to really justify the investment. So what do we mean by that? Well, what it means is, as we see a lot of times, technology is a driver, as an enabler, but because the technology is new, it triggers new processes, it triggers new skills, it triggers new changes to the culture and the organization, so now we've got four dimensions of change all wrapped into one initiative to change the way we change. And that's difficult. It's complicated, it takes time. This is not measured in hours, days, weeks, or months. It's measured in a series of what we call, what comes out of here, a roadmap that is measured in quarters or years. And what it really is, is what I call the project project. 
It's a project plan to get better to change the way we change, the way we do project management. So what does that mean? It means that there's a mini portfolio Forget about the, the, the macro portfolio about all the business problems. We got a specific problem that we're not very good at delivering our projects and we're not getting the value of the investments. Therefore, the, port, the miniature portfolio is a series of initiatives that actually change the way the organization does project management. So that's the topic for today, change in the project-based world. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you got a lot of out of it. Um, if you're confused about all this stuff on the whiteboard, this wasn't meant to go on one single whiteboard. So the concepts are here. If you want to see more, you'll see our um, a link below to get more information. You can download it. Uh, you'll see these topics broken out into more sort of separate topics through a slide deck. So um, again, thanks for your time today. I'm Gus Chicago, project management expert.